One of the important things to do with testing is to be able to take a given class and create a set of test cases that exercise and verify that that code is working properly. In this video, we're going to very briefly walk through creating some test cases using IntelliJ, using the TestNG test framework to actually write some tests that will verify the operation of a simple class. So on the screen right now, you can see the code for a simple class. It's an adder, and there's a few type rules here to fix, like so. This is the sum of all numbers that have been added. So we've got a single attribute that's within inside of the class. We've got a constructor that takes no parameters, a constructor that takes a single parameter, an add number method, and a get sum method. Very, very trivial, very, very basic class to start worrying about. So what we would like to do is create our test ng test cases. So typically when we create tests, what we want to do is we want to place our tests in a separate parallel folder to our source code. So we see here in our project that we have this src directory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new directory that I'm going to call test so and I'm going to go into my project settings here like so and I'm going to set this test directory to hold the actual source code for my tests the reason we do this is we want our tests to be living someplace separate from our actual source code that makes it a lot easier for configuration management and all of those types of things that we have to deal with when we're writing software okay so now that I've done that in IntelliJ here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some tests. So I'm going to create test here. I want the testng environment as my library. Now it's not found in the module right now, so I'm going to fix that. This will load that into my project so that I can now go about actually running the test that I create, and I'm going to create a couple of tests here, get some, and add number for right now. Um, so we're going to generate these, and you'll see that it placed this file right here in the adder test area, or the adder tests file. Now what I'd like to do, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do, is I'm going to in this case, generate a data provider here. So, um, where is it on the menu here? It's buried, and I'm looking at this on a small screen right now. Uh, generate. Data provider. And I'm going to call this data provider. Eh, nothing better that I can come up with number of tests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be testing the add number using this number tests. So in here what I'm going to do is return a new object array like so. And it's going to have some various tests. Now testing add number, what I want to have in here is double initial sum, double number, double expected result. So I'm going to put this all in here, and I'm going to follow AAA notation. So I'm going to set up um, first here, arrange, then act then assert based on these test cases. So in here, for my arrange, well, what I need to do is I need to create a new instance of the summer. So, or adder, excuse me. So I'm going to have adder a equals new adder. And the value I'm going to pass in is sum like so. 
Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to act upon this. Acting means I'm going to do something to the code. So in this case, I'm going to have a dot add number. The number that I'm going to be adding, like so. And then last but not least, I'm going to do assert equals the actual value, which is a dot get sum. So I'm going to get the sum back out of this class, like so. I'm going to assert that that matches expected result, like so. And in my case, I'm going to have it match within 0 0.00001, very small delta. OK, so I've got that. And really, for right now, that's going to be the only test I'm going to worry about in this case, because I'm just trying to do some very, very basic uh, demonstrations. Now, this test here, I need to set up the data provider to be equal to number tests like so. There we have the data provider and I need to now set up my objects that I'm going to have. So my objects that I'm going to return basically is going to be an array here. Um, and this array is going to be the initial sum, 0, 0.0. Um, the number that I'm going to add, 0, 0.0. And the expected results, 0, 0.0. You can see I'm very creative right now. Um, and then I'm going to have another set here. So I'm going to have an initial sum of 0, 0.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 0, 0, 0 is my new expected sum. Um, and then I'm going to have another test case here where I'm going to take, oh, 100.5, and I'm going to add 0 0.5, and I'm going to expect to have 101, like so. So these are my objects for my data provider, like so. Now if I save all of this here, what I can do is now go up here and run the adder tests. And if I got all of the syntax in here correctly, the code will go about building. And momentarily here, we should hopefully have some test results. So it's building, it's running, and compilation is completed. I'm going to allow access to run the tests here. And we can see that test add number those three parameters, initial, number, expected, worked. This test worked. This test worked. So each one of these tests essentially set things up. Now, maybe I want to have some other form of a test. So maybe I want to write something like public void test initial constructor. So in this case, what I'm going to have is adder a equals new adder. So this is going to essentially be my arrange. In this particular case, there's no actions, like so. And then my assert, excuse me, is going to be something along the lines of assert equals that uh, a dot get sum equal to zero and again 0 0.0001 whatever value I want for my accuracy. So this is going to test the initial constructor to make sure that it initializes things appropriately. So I can write a little comment here. Whoops. This method will test that the constructor properly initializes the sum. And I'm going to throw a little at test on it, like so. Now we've got the data provider tests up here. We've got this one. I can take and go here and save all. Run my adder tests. And we will see momentarily here, once the code compiles, that it can run the tests. And we see 
that this test initial constructor all passed as well. So what you've seen at this point is how to take and write some basic IntelliJ tests with the TestNG testing framework. That's going to bring this video to a conclusion.